So welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video down here at the simplydiag.net community hub in Brighton, sunny Cheshire. Cracking day today, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, and we're here filming. So the J11 Qashqai um, that we did the previous videos on, I've now got the Pico scope set up. Um, so this is the Pico 4425A with the smart BNCs. We've got four channels connected. We've got the yellow channel going to battery. We have the green channel going down to the radar. Don't worry about the radar hanging down because it's going to have to go for calibration later anyway. So don't worry about that. So we're monitoring the live feed into the radar unit, battery voltage. And then if we walk around here, we've got the red channel going into the power supply for the front camera module. And then we've got the blue channel going into Fuse 73 using one of the Hubby Tools breakout leads. Um, we had a few comments again about um, back probing better than front probing and stuff like that. We're testing now for a loaded system. We're actually seeing the voltages that the modules are receiving. So we've got two choices, back probe or pace. I don't really want to pace the wires on this particular car. So we've just gone for nice and easy back probing. And then it will take you around to the front of the car big screen so we've got the pico scope running on the big screen we've got all four channels set to 20 volts it's not on battery support now at the minute so the yellow channel is the battery and we can see it's just about 12 volts all the other channels are at zero so obviously the measurements for the green and the blue are on this side the measurements for the red and the yellow channels are on this side so what i'm going to do now I'm going to start the car up and we'll see what happens and we'll take some measurements. So what we've got here, we've got our key on voltages in this section. When the starter's engaged, we can see the voltage drop. We can see the actual cranking of the engine. Yeah, and then we can see the engine is now running. And then the alternator starts charging and it comes up to charging voltage. So let's drop some rulers down onto this and take some measurements. Okay, so we're looking at the minimum voltages, the voltage at its lowest point when the engine's working hardest. So if you imagine the battery, it takes more effort to see if you're trying to push a big rock, it takes more effort to start the rock moving than it does to keep it moving. So that initial inrush current is the hard, the heaviest load that that battery's gonna take on the normal service. So the numbers don't lie. Blue channel, 6.8 volts. Red channel, 6.7 volts. Yellow channel, 7.1. That's the battery itself. Green channel, 6.8 volts. We said yesterday, less than 10 volts is a no, is a thumbs down. So, we, you know, we've got a problem. Let's just measure the time that it was below battery voltage. So I'll put some more rulers on. Below 
10 volts, there's a three, the three volt difference. And it was, what's that, four, five, nearly a full second. Yeah, ne nearly a full second that. Oh, no way, yeah. Nearly full second, six, six. Yeah, 638 milliseconds, so nearly full second. So that's within the DTC setting criteria, below 10 volts, but it's, it's actually below battery voltage for a lot longer than that. So there's your problem lady, as Eric O would say. Massive thanks to Peterscope Automotive, Hella Gutman, uh, ooh, who else do we need to thank on this? But Hella, Pico, All Data, the list is endless. Top Don as well for the battery support. All available, diagnostic connections and DC tuning. Thanks for watching, you're awesome.